fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right. How am I supposed to play this with this mic in my way? Put the mic down to a position where you can see. Then it, no, this mic, I don't know how you do this. Oh, I do it great. Here, put it over here. There we go. Alright. So this is uh, Cool Beans Gaming. Live streaming, twitching. Are we, are we streaming? Yeah, we're streaming right now. I really should just keep one of these out. Yeah, keep one out so I, you can hear me. Uh, we are currently playing the Mass Effect Legendary Edition. This is my best friend, Acer, right here. I've never met this guy. No it's way. his first... Well, tell, tell them your history with this game before I say it's your first time. No, no, it's my first it's, time. It's your first time, okay. He's never played this game. I'm starting to think he's played this game before. Um... <sighs> wow. Alright. So, you're gonna start a new career. Alright, and then you're up. Right, Welcome to Alliance Military Data. You can go with the one they give you, or you can go with the classified one. information sure requested. I'm gonna go with the one. Okay. Good. So you gotta pick. Uh, Establishing secure, secure connections. Oh, I'll show you. There. Secure yeah. connection confirmed. Nice. Looks really good on this. John screen. Shepard or Jane Shepard. She's a looker. Do you want to get banged by dudes and one Please alien, log in or do you want to bang your chicks and more aliens? I'm going to take that as a yes. Uh, I think you just skipped everything. I just skipped everything? Yes. yes. Data corruption Fuck. detected. Please reconstruct. Yeah, I was oh. going to tell you. Okay, 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 here we go. Confirm pre-service history. Oh, okay, good. So read through these. Can you read about them? What's up? You were born and raised in Mindor, a small border colony. Okay, fine. You were an orphan raised on Earth Streets. Uh, you do go to Earth in the third game, so keep that in do mind. Do you really? Yes. Nice. So keep that in mind. That's kind of cool, you, actually. Get all these places, whichever one you pick, there is a story beat that leads all the way through from the first game to the third game if you go to the right locations at the right time, usually on the Citadel in the first game, and then other places in the second game. That's but really a lot of this stuff happens on the Citadel. So yeah. a lot of these will carry through if you pick the right choices. Nice. Confirm go psychological okay. profile. Oh, this, I think you like this one. During... So what are you expecting from this game? Tyler. Expecting a good game. It's a great game. Uh, my friend, my friend and I, uh, we, uh, my other friend, this friend, this is my best friend. But my friend and I, we used to discuss Mass Effect in front of him all the time, and he, he was I don't know what you guys are saying, but it's oh, interesting. Yeah, this is back in high school. Back in high school. Long time ago. And this game just came out, so he's never. It's a good chance for him to play Mass Effect. It's like. Self-aggrandizing myself because if I'm ruthless, then I'm all just like, if you want the job done, I'm the guy. Okay, here. well I'll give. I was a war hero. <laughs> Soul survivor. Oh, so I couldn't. So I wasn't cool enough to die with my men, huh? All right. You let me. So I'm gonna spoil. I'm not gonna spoil everything, but this is um military specialization. Okay, I'll let you learn mechanics on your own. What's up? Okay, so the mechanics of the Par Paragon Renegade, do you know anything about that? You. So at certain points in in conversation, you'll have a red or blue option. The red's Renegade and the blue's Paragon. And uh, Paragon means good and Renegade obviously means bad. Uh, so you can have... Because you can't really have an evil Commander Shepard because he has to save the universe. Just morally gray. Yeah, just morally gray more like. He'll do bad things like confirm I, facial I identification. Like options. I played these game, these three games, multiple times. Ooh, ooh, that guy's ugly. Why don't you make him look like you? Oh, that's cool. There was a lot of options in these presets. They must have added more presets. I'm I'm currently going through a playthrough on the Xbox on Insanity. I've made it through the first game, and I am at uh, 
uh, certain Krogan parts in the second game. It's not too far into the game. But that's on Xbox. I just bought this for the PC so he can play it. Because I think he'll... I think he'll enjoy, I think it. I'll enjoy it. Too. I think he'll enjoy it. The first game is a, has a, one of the best stories in video games. I got a thumb in my eyes. But... You want a mirror? Be here a while. He loves character creation. That's a shame. See me, I I just pick a preset and go with it. That's usually how I create characters. Because I'm just like, I just want, I just want to experience the game. The game. I do want to experience the game on my own terms. I understand. Like the first time I played this game, I spent. Why would I want an ugly character? What sometimes I some people do? You ever seen people's Dark Souls characters? Oh, that's different. I don't know what it is about Dark Souls. You can't make pretty characters. Oh, I have never no. seen a Dark Souls character that I want to play. You can make, make Brad Pitt in this game. Really? Yes. We could download a Brad Pitt code if you want to make Brad Pitt. Really? Yeah. They have that? Yes. Let's see. Jaw width. Let's make this. I can look one. I can look one up right now and see if it works. But you seem intent on making your own custom one, so I'm gonna let you do that. Oh shit. I might make a Brad Pitt playthrough one day. Plays all his uh, simple characters. I almost did a D and D where I played a, a character that thought he was Vin Diesel, like every role that Vin Diesel ever had, like Pitch Black, Rick, Fast and the Furious, Triple uh, X, and I just started saying quotes the entire time from his movies. It was funny for like the first three campaigns. Oh, not campaign, but first three missions of the campaign. <laughs> then it just got kind of tiring because it's like, I can't think of any, I can't think of any Vin Diesel quotes that go with this situation. Well, we're in space. My character can have whatever he wants. Oh, in the original Mass Effect 1, they, they, they were very limited. They were all uh, haircuts for the military. That this, and, this, and this is the addition they added in the haircuts that they added in the second and third game. Because the second game opened up really awesome for a character creation screen. Give me some pink hair. Let's, let's, just be, uh, let's just be a piece of shit over that. Just be a piece of shit. Of course you need a scar. Yeah. You need to have a be war, a war You can't be a war hero, hero right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what you picked. I really like the war here. I, I, I'm trying to remember. I'm who. gonna be Sub Zero. You pick Earthling too, right? Yeah, Earthling. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. No, you know we're just gonna pull the. Uh, okay, excuse me. Your orientation. Did you find it? So they have codes. Oh, where... I. <laughs> That's what I was doing. <laughs> Looking up that code. Do I have to type in that code. Uh. I could get it on this screen and we can just copy and paste it. Alright. Like, I wonder what codes they have. Let's see. Brad Pitt. And you know the. You know some. Now he needs to look like a Jonathan. Alright, here we go. Brad Pitt. Ooh. Ooh. It looked, it kind of looked like Fight Club Brad Pitt. Yeah. But just a little more wrinkles, but, but... Yeah. Do you want that? No. Okay. What no, was you want to see it. You want to see other face codes already? Oh, I, can't, I really like the look at him. Profile Let's reconstruction complete. Earthborn war hero soldier. Identification confirmed. Combat difficulty. Uh, go to casual. Yeah. Oh, he's a model level up. Uh, that's, uh, it, does it do the side characters or, or you two? Do squad only. Cause you don't, uh, unless you, do you want to be very specific with what your squad gets? Or do you care? Cause the squad, the, the, uh, level, the squad only level up auto is pretty good in this game. It keeps your character pretty 
balanced. Your psyche is pretty balanced. Really? Yeah. You know, we're gonna go with the idea that they know what's best for themselves. Yeah, and that's, that they're, that, they're, that's 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 they're leveling these, themselves. That's usually the idea I do. Because I like leveling myself up, but it's, it's tedious to level everyone up. No, I mean like. Because you have to do it every time you get a new squad mate in your party. Because it doesn't, you can't just go to a screen and then level them all up. You have to bring them with you to level them up. At least in the first game. Legendary mode. Uh, oh, okay, we'll go with yeah, you, yeah, you're right. Squad power usage. It's up Depends to you. Which we use in combat defensive or all. We'll probably have to go back and fix that though. We could. We could change it. Naval to twenty. Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll, we'll just go with all of these. Yes. This is a nice monitor, by the way. Thank you. 32 inch. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but on, no sorry. record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets, learned to look out for himself. Nice, Keith David. Yep. He proved himself during the Blitz, way. held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. He's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. Do we really? Oh. In the year 2148, explorers of Mars discovered the remains of an ancient spacefaring civilization in the decades that followed these mysterious artifacts revealed startling technologies. Invading. <laughs> I can't read it all. They called it the greatest discovery in human history. The civilization called it Mass Effect. So they call it Mass Effect. Yes, they call it, they call this energy Mass Effect energy. It's like Halo, where the huge plot point. That's what the that's what it's named after. It's named after plot point. Halo is named after a giant ring. There are Terrace Prime that's relays actually. in range. How it generates the character transmission range. sequence. No, no, no. Uh, I mean, I mean, I'm not talking about like the titling. No, Halo. Oh, Halo is. Yeah, that, that we, we, got, was, we got we got we got. That was, that was interesting. We are connected. Calculating transmass and destination. Gotcha. Relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. <laughs> well, that's because we have all, all, skull, all the skulls on and legendary and all this thing. Yeah, why are you dying so much? You're supposed to be better than I am. I'm not by much. I've been playing these games all my life. I've been playing games. Board is green. Approach run has begun. Look how thin Thrusters, check, navigation, right check, internal emissions sync engaged, all systems yeah. online, hmm? drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I'm not. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. Oh, if you get really into the backstory of this game, there's a lot of index cards that cover everything. You always expect the worst. Well, that bad is. feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so what are we doing here? Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. Right. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach the Prime. So it should start teaching aye, aye, you all about movement and Better stuff. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's well, already he here, Lieutenant. Really oh, I guess I am. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You life, get that, Commander? Friend. I'm on my way. <laughs> is it me or does the captain always sound a little pissed off? 
Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Yeah, definitely only when I'm to press escape to open the journal. Nice. And uh, over here are codexes. That has all the mission briefings and profile on everything. And as you go through the game, you get more and more. And they get lengthy. But luckily for primary ones, there's a guy that reads them out to you. So go to primary. Skip the uh, that. Go back to primary. Go to primary. There you go. Off. Roughly 1,200 nice. years ago, the Turians cool? were invited to join the Citadel games. Council to fulfill the role of galactic peacekeepers. The Turians have the largest fleet in Citadel so space. That's the, uh, they make up the well, single largest him, portion of the Council's the military the forces. Turian, you As you know their territory and influence has spread, like, the Turians nice. have come to rely on the yeah. Solarians for military <laughs> intelligence <laughs> and the Asari <laughs> for diplomacy. Despite a somewhat colonial attitude toward the rest of the galaxy, the ruling hierarchy understands they would lose more than they would gain if the other two races were ever removed. Turians come from an autocratic society that values discipline whiskers. and possesses uh, a strong sense of personal amenable. and collective honor. Like the there is lingering Halo. animosity between Have Turians and humans over the first contact uh, war of 2157. Yeah. Okay. The Systems Alliance is an independent supra... So now you should be able to move. Elwaz is your movement. And I'm just going to tell you because I didn't tell you, but space bar is how you talk to people. Space yeah, because I don't know why it didn't show We're getting prompts right there, right unless that right. is the prompts that tells you spacebar for PC games, I guess, I don't know. You don't want to talk to them? You just want to go all the dialogue, go straight to the Turian. Yeah. I don't have to talk Commander to Shepard. I was hoping you'd get here <laughs> wow, first. Wow, you're give us a captain. chance to talk. Right, Commander Shepard. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. And I'm gonna tell you this up front. I'm interested don't in talk, this world you're not gonna bang. To. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. So I've if never you been there, but you know of it. Talk to it. It's become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only game. establish colonies across bang. the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it really? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? We don't have a choice. I think it's about time we told the Commander hmm? what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. What's the payload, Captain? A research team on Eden Prime. Unearthed some kind of beacon Keep during an excavation. Voice. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the books Citadel okay. for proper study. I like the Halo books better. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon is not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground oh, team. Nice. Secure missions. the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. What do you know about the Protheans? Just what they taught us in school. 
They were a technologically advanced species that ruled the galaxy 50,000 years ago. Then they vanished. Nobody really knows how or why, though I've heard plenty of theories. But everyone agrees, galactic civilization wouldn't exist without them. Their citadel is the very heart of galactic society. And without Star their mass Prothean, relays, right? interstellar travel would be impossible. We all owe the Protheans a great debt. I'd like to know more about Eden Prime before we touch down. It's a peaceful farming world, but it represents something much bigger. Eden Prime is one of our oldest and most successful colonies. It proved we were ready to face the challenges of settling new worlds, to forge a place for humanity beyond Earth. It symbolizes humanity's growth and evolution as a spacefaring species. And after this, it will be known as the world where humans made a discovery right. of galactic importance. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology, even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliant ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden Prime. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Oh, man, it's Chris Bring it up on screen. Chris Griffin. <laughs> Chris Griffin. Oh, yeah. Get down! Heavy casualties! I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't stop staring! We need evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... What's that? Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. Just goes dead. Nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. How does he know the seconds? Yeah, the... no, he's probably counting. Status report. Yeah, he's like, I'm gonna count. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. He even had a point five in there, Take too. us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Oh, look at that look. Let's get it. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. You're gonna do great. It's, it's Tell Alenko and Jenkins to say that. Oh, then you're gonna be ashamed. I'm, I'm gonna be ashamed. I've never played this game on keyboard and mouse. Engaging stealth I'm systems. Forced to. Yeah, I, I told you I'd get you control. I don't know what you're talking about. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Oof. Commander. Muscle Go in muscle. heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. Fuck the beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nylon, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. So no. <laughs> Nylon will scout out ahead. <laughs> I'm supposed to You'll be feed the status reports to throughout the mission. You. Otherwise, I want radio silence. Ready and able, sir. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two. What? 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 
class did you pick? What? What class did you pick? Did you pick soldier? Soldier. Oh. Oh, I should have told you to pick a class that had like superpowers or something. Cause soldier, every class is big as the soldier now on top of all the powers. Cause uh, oh yeah, that's right. I'm getting caught up in the minutia. In the original game, they were uh, I don't know. Let's not fuck yes, with them. It's it important worry, to uh, pick. Yeah, whatever you do, don't fuck with it. Oh, you should blow them up. Blow them up. Hmm? Blow, blow them up. Blow, blow them up. Yeah, blow them up. You want me to shoot it? Yeah, shoot it. It didn't do anything, Tyler. All right, fine. Don't shoot it then. It's just an alien. Besides, we don't want. They already know we're on the way. We can't shoot. Oh God, what happened here? You're gonna have to shoot. Hold left shift. It, it, uh... oh, okay, cool. Yeah, that's right. Shift. Nice. My keyboard doesn't say shift. So 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 ah! You bitch. <laughs> They shot through his shields! Oh god, the humanity! Sometimes Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. We still have to find that beacon. Aye, aye, sir. He's a little guy. He's not going to make it through the rest of this game. He's a little guy. I'm not sure. Medigel right there. That's your Medigel right there. I think so. This is how it is. <laughs> well, he's a pistol user. He's a biotic. So you want to use these are his biotic powers. That's a that's a throw. It's going to teach you about that in a minute. But uh, you want to use that to to uh, throw Press enemies me. and stuff. There you go. So that's how you get health back. And I believe this is your shield bar, and this is your health bar. So these are important ones for conversational, the charm and intimidate. They're important for conversational um, aspects. They were, they made them way more important now because if you just get them, then you can get certain things that you can get originally. But, but uh, at a certain point, you have to have enough Renegon or Paragon points to make certain decisions later on in the game. So they're very important if you want to make hard decisions easier. But you have to have a certain amount of charm when I'm dealing with people. So I mean, charm and intimidate. For, so if you want to go paragon, charm. If you want to go renegade, intimidate. I don't want to... No, you know what I want? I just want to be like mid. You just want to be a mid character? I just, just want to be, be a very mild. I just want to be boring. <laughs> let, let certain I want to be milk toast. <laughs> then don't put any points in the charm or intimidate. Just put it all into soldier and assault rifle. Oh, the grayed out ones? 
those are meta those are uh, so once you get I think to the triangle on assault training you'll unlock fitness oh no well you'll unlock fitness if you put more points to assault training. whatever the top one above it is whenever you get to a certain point within that range you'll get the next one below it so like with assault rifle you get sniper rifle training You got one more point. You got one more point. So you can probably unlock fitness now. I think. Oh, no. I don't want that. Yeah, no, because... I might be smart to the time that it increases weapon damage. Yeah, it's a good one. 10% increases multiply, increases accuracy. That's assault rifle damage, though. Yeah, yeah, that other this all the, yeah that's, yeah, that's gonna apply to all of them. So. Yeah, so yeah, if you want to get a sniper rifle as one point, then your sniper rifle will be stronger. I don't want to be milk toast though. Soldier then, that can unlock other um, charm, not charmer to me, but other like situations. Charmers, I believe soldier does. Yeah, there you go. Open those. Oh wait, no. Go to go to soldier. Oh, okay, I thought it might. I didn't want this character to be all like. I didn't. I kind of wanted him to be stern. But since we need that charm for later in game, I can be charming. You can be charming, yeah. You're a charming guy. Okay, let's get to the game. Did you just fart, man? Oh, it smells like sawdust. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Time it helps when you're trying to use powers and uh, slows down the game a little bit, it's especially on Sandy, um, where it slows down the time so you can figure out what power to use on what thing to use it on. So, uh, you just poisoned yourself, whatever it is. I'm okay, <laughs> you are wearing a, uh, a, a mask, so. I was genetically made to be this way. I'm like, okay, thanks for telling me. It's a real bitch in that game. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit, there was this guy. This game is rated right them, for sure, so. That's fucked. <laughs> and then you're about to do it to her, too. Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge, hey, you, sir? Hey, there's your option. Give me a status report, Williams. Your oh, turn. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked good. into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. Any idea what kind of enemy we're facing? I think they're Geth. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. I love the Geth. Why are they here now? I think I'm gonna get Geth tattooed on me. They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Yeah. You're coming with us, Williams. We need that beacon. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. It seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. Because you want to find out. We never knew they were coming. Anything, right? 
Yeah. What happened to the researchers it's at the big site? Kind of how they did I don't know. So you out they set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Uh, maybe the their unit fared better than mine. Information. Tell uh, me everything you know about the beacon. Things. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins and the beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime. None that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. <laughs> Luckily, he's on our side. <laughs> he was barely Sorry. carry anything with him. Like I said, All the yeah, like he just had like shotgun. that shotgun. It's like, what's he gonna <laughs> do with that? He has to get right up in their buttholes for that. <laughs> Which is a character archetype in this game, is you can get right up in people's buttholes. So this is like that meme where everybody's like, Ant-Man is just gonna go up in Thanos' butt in Endgame and just expand. <laughs> and everybody's like, y'all just gay. Because he could easily just go in their nostril and yeah, just do the same just thing. Do the same thing. And this one is you're hitting them straight in the face. See, that should tell you people's predisposition to just like ass. Yeah, ass is very important. Like at, like eating? No, yeah. that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's the point. That's it's why I always point. go No, ass. that's bad. Oh man, now I gotta fix her up too. You don't have to. She can do it on her own. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> Uh, no, it's like you put it on auto, remember? The description. So you can't change it because it's on auto. No, I just wanted to see what they were good at. Okay. Plus, I'm just exploring. The beacon's at the far end of this trench. Space bar. Right, let's see. Ooh, heavy armor. Or light armor. Take it. You might be better than your armor. Check. Oh, yeah, this, this I, I hope you like um, item management. This first game is a lot of item management. They kind of reduced it in the Legendary on. Edition, but it's still it's still there. Somewhere. All right, what you guys better? Unless you want more shields and more tech biotics, but you don't have any biotics. I don't want lights. Yeah, you just want health. No, I really just want heavy armor, heavy and medium armor. Uh, I guess just taking a stroll. <laughs> Press like special or pulse for now. <laughs> do a rock. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, you're trying to do that. I see. Uh, good day to you. Um, good day to oh. you. Oh, what just happened? Somebody just followed us. Oh, that's cool. Mischief fun. Again. Oh, supposed to that <laughs> <laughs> like they're even trying to use this game. They made him a power in the second game, so that way you can use it. Okay. Oh, that was Use your sword to try to punch him in the face. I mean, I, I that that was, like was like two. Yes. That was like two. Or, that was four years ago. Four years. I haven't. I've had this for like a year, and I still am not great at piece of keyboard and mouse yet. Yeah, six points. Put that there. Put that there. Put this here. Put another one here. It's just to get that out.
Should I you, be using all of this? Yeah, you should be. Can as I, soon as you get points. Can point. I have both? Yeah, you can have both. Should, no, I'm just I? telling you, charm is for paragon choices. Intimidate is for renegade choices. So, so like so this bar right can here. I just, can I make any character I want, or does you, it just you stop? Can make, you can make any character you want. So I can just. But certain choices will be blocked to you, depending on the characters you pick. Like, like if you go down mid range, you're never gonna get a paragon or a renegade choice. That you can just successfully. If you go down charm, you're going to get a renegade choice or um, paragon choice. If you go over intimidate, you're going to get renegade choices. But if you choose both, you'll be able to have both options, but you'll have to eventually pick one to build this bar up to about I think it's ninety or eighty-five percent or something to get certain end game choices that you only get if one is fuller than the other one at that point. Oh, I see. So you can't go mid range too much. I mean, I, I mean, I at some point I'm probably you'll we'll see. I'm probably gonna. <laughs> Yeah, keep following the path you're doing now. I like it. It's good for your first time because you don't know everything that's going to happen later on in the game. And let me tell you, every cho choice you make in this game will lead to consequences in the second and third game. Like, even the DLC they worked into this game it has consequences because of, in like, the third game. And when I got that, I was like, oh my god, I'm so glad I played that DLC finally. <laughs> it was an awesome choice. It was great. I just want to make sure I have all these controls down because I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Is the speed too fast for you for the mouse? Because I turned the mouse sensitivity up. No, no, it's fine. I'll just use it. Okay. Because I like a fast mouse. This is the dig site. I'll get used to it. The beacon it. was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the gas? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. Uh, I doubt me. there's any survivors. So, let's say we're wasting time. No, I want to know because that's our secondary objective. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they we were, we have lucky, to make sure. Maybe that's our secondary hiding up in the camp. Yeah, it's just, just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. The last or whatever. Uh, yeah, but I didn't. Change I didn't do separate. that because I wanted to. It just happened by choice. Wait a minute, which choice did you make? War hero or soul survivor? I picked war hero. Oh, okay. So you got your troops through it then. It's better in every other way. It is. Yeah, like the three points, that's nothing. Yeah. Especially for actually with the shotgun. Most shotguns you're just gonna go right in their face with. Uh this one's accuracy rating is down by like three points. But this one's the damage. damage. Yeah, the damage is yeah. much better. Yeah. Like, you know, it's not even that much different. Do you get any modifications yet either? Uh see that other square right there? That's blanked out? I have a grenade thing. launcher? No. You have grenades. I want a grenade launcher. Hell yeah. I'm gonna start getting up in people's booties. Booties. Shoot them like crazy. What were we gonna say? Uh, go that, that gray, yeah, go back. That gray box, you see that gray square next to it? The click on that? Okay, so this is where you'll get like, um, second oh. web, 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 weapon and ammo upgrades. Nice. And any of those can be like splash damage to acid, fire, crisp, or ice, stuff like that. Which, which you get into mixing those ones together. And then the gun upgrades are like um, actually better. It's a good place for them. Um, better Keep shooting, your guard up. Stuff like that. Huh. I'm guessing we're gonna have to kill those things. Yes. Oh god, they're still alive! What did the Geth do to them? These are the ones we, where we get up in their buttholes. Not on fucking insanity like I do, because I'm an idiot. It takes me long to get up. That guy's fucking up on insanity. We've heard that Mass Effect 2 insanity. And, uh, when I was younger, I was able to get up. Oh, I thought they were going to be like zombies. No, these guys are fast. Hard zombies kind of fast. So, like they call duty zombies, they're fast. Yeah, yeah you're right. Oh, you're on fire! <laughs> Get out of the fire! <laughs> yeah, that's a good chunk. You spent jump. You're on fucking fire. That door, it's closed. Security locks engaged. This is why you need tech. 
That's why I should have a tech guy do this. Uh, well, you, as long as you have a tech guy with you, you can do it. Oh, this is kind of cool. It's like Frogger. You have time work, though. Oh, you got it. Good job. I wonder what's in there. Oh, I bet it's... You must <laughs> thank the maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you, I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the, the one in charge of the excavation. Yeah. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The well, age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. If you talk to him, what else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geths swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside, gunfire, yeah. screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move until you came along. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Oh, Manuel, please, this isn't the time. Is he serious, What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius and mean? madness are two what? sides of the same unstable. coin. Unstable? Is it madness to see this the future? <laughs> to see the destruction he's rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? He's a fucking crazy no. person. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra I'm dose the joker, of the I can shut him up. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> press oh, it. Oh, you, can press it? you can't stop it. What? Nobody yeah, can stop it. Say, Night is up. falling. The darkness of eternity. No it, Hush, man. Manuel. Go lie anything. down. Right. You'll feel better once the medication she, she already got it. <laughs> yep, some paragon points for that. Fuck, why? <laughs> I mean, the option was there and you didn't take it. How was that a paragon? Because you didn't take the other option. I don't understand. Sometimes, sometimes when you pick a, have a chance for a renegade option, and don't take it, they'll give you Paragon instead. Because they want to reward you in this game. For not killing him? No, no I'm curious. I can shut him up. <laughs> <laughs> that just seems cruel. He's just crazy. That doesn't... Look, if you're crazy, that doesn't mean you need to be ostracized or something. No, he's just fucking crazy. <laughs> but if you're a renegade, you don't give a shit. Look, the renegade's still a good guy, right? It means he does care. He's just an asshole. He's not gonna go out of his way to be a dick. <laughs> the he's just the he's renegade just, I play, yes he does. He, he ju he's just a dick to be a dick? Yes. Because <laughs> I love characters that are assholes. So you really liked Aquaman? Yeah, Aquaman was great. No, I mean, like... Uh, Justice League, yeah. The movie? Yeah. Did you like him? The, the four hour cut? Yeah. Yes, I did. You, you liked that he was an asshole? Yeah, I liked that. And Why then... would I want to. Tell me something, Tyler. Why the fuck would I want a sniper rifle that has low accuracy? <laughs> it has high power, though. But no accuracy, it kind of defeats the purpose. It only drops two accuracy. It only drops two accuracy. That's like, that defeats the purpose of a sniper rifle. And the accuracy will increase the more you put in the sniper rifle. I think we'll all feel better when the medication kicks in. Oh, he feels pretty good. I'm sorry we just read that. I just saw that. <laughs> the medication comes in. That's funny. See? That guy... Oh, excuse me. That person doesn't want to be punched in the face or be shut up by my character. Look, maybe if the guy was... I may have said, let's just slap him, but after finding out that he's just crazy, like, if I slap him, then I'm the bad guy. It doesn't matter how crazy it is. 
Are you not a bad guy, though? You're just a stern character? So you can go Paragon. That's what you can decide. No, no. I'm probably going to take certain sides on certain things. But may, I'll probably take more Paragon than anything. For some weird reason, no matter what, whatever game I pick, even if I try to be a bad guy, Nihilus. I always come out to be like a good guy. Like really? in Fallout. Dude, every time I... This isn't your mission, time, Saren. I ever what are you doing play here? These games, I've played The council bad. thought you could use some help on this one. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna kill you. I wasn't He's expecting a, to find yeah, the Geth here. This is neat, the situation's bad. Does he join your team? Don't worry. Cyrus or Nihilus? I've Saren. got it under control. Oh, fuck. That's magically done. I love the way they did that. They didn't even show it happen. But, what is that? Yeah, I won't what lie. It's like them doing that. It's a shit. What, wasn't it? It's like they, they just have the sound effects. So we know he's there. The problem is. But the problem is, we didn't see who did it. Barrels, those things explode. Those are like corrosive stuff. I like to show it. Oh, no. Oh, I did not. This is the time when we get up. Right, now you Fuck! Shot. <laughs> he died before you got him out! Uh, you have to break things in the. Um, That's how I get uh, meta gel? I think so. I have to put okay. that. Hold on one second. Let's go back up there. Because there was some stuff that I wanted to check out. You have to buy it sometime. I can't remember exactly. I think like you have to buy it. I thought I could open this thing, but it was just mainly there for cover. Yes, there for cover. There's a lot of play times in this game where it's like, oh, that's just there for cover. Alright, so how do I get my homeboy right there to go decrypt this thing? You do it every time. Oh, we do it every time. They're just yeah. there. They're Like, they give buffs to your Oh, nice. Okay, that's I think cool. Kaden gives a buff to decryption. Because it wasn't one of his points in decryption. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. No, go back inside, Is you dumbass. Is it safe? Dumbass. Are they gone? We took care of them. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. No. Knew it was trouble the second I saw it, so we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship See came that? down. No way I they survived. You don't know that! We survived! If they made it to the garage, Why would they, they could have, have had a, a fighting chance. I don't know, so, man. Like, we'll just Look. use our last you know moments of our life just to enjoy each other. <laughs> We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to <laughs> us. That's what some people do, man. Now. We're at the edge. What else can you tell me Why about the ship you saw? Why do you think the lot of survivors get with their... I was too busy running saving. to get a clear look at it. And then they landed really over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only... It was coming from inside your own head. Nice. It was probably kind of trying to block communication. No, it wasn't blocked. Whatever no, it, it was, was it felt here. like it was tearing right through my skull. It's right Almost here. made it impossible to think. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. What kind of packages? I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. Is but it a good pistol? Probably get more use out of it yeah, than we option. will. We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. 
I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve if it. If you more even than make I it do. out of here. <laughs> I didn't even want the pistol. They could defend themselves. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his he name? He gave you the upgrade. He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport. Oh, that's why you get this option with that character, okay. I have to go. Goodbye. I missed this on my, on my most recent play, so I was like, where'd this option go? Oh, thank you. I thought they took so it they, Oh, is this? No, no. The upgrades. The other squares. Oh, so, okay, I got a pistol upgrade? Yeah. Did y'all give it to you? Fuck me, right? <laughs> I guess he didn't give you anything. I guess I'll just go fuck myself. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> what the fuck? Where is it? Did he say he was giving you a pistol upgrade? I don't know. <laughs> or did he just give you a pistol? I didn't even get a pistol. What the fuck did he give you? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Empty. Empty! <laughs> what? For your grenade upgrade? I'll just go to hell. Like, I guess I'll just... Try the grenade one. Nope. Is that all you're holding from? I get the feeling. Oh. Okay. Oh, go. there it nice. is. Okay. <laughs> we should have just shut the fuck up. He gave you a comment since you're a, a really good pistol. Is it a real pistol? It's a good pistol. Yeah, I like the stick stinger. Oh, it is. I really didn't want to take it, but okay. You're a soldier. You deserve it. Yeah, but they probably needed it. Like, uh, fuck them. Look, I, look at all these weapons I've got on my back. Do you think this guy really needs a pistol? I've been using an assault rifle this entire time, and I've got like four other people. If anybody here needs the pistol, it's those guys. Yeah, because you never know; they might come into a scene. Lover, if you don't like collecting shit. No, no. See, on top of that, how do you know they won't need it if they just like fuck this? Bam! <laughs> what if it gets to that point? You want them to kill themselves? No, you, I don't want them to lives. kill themselves. I just you want saved the their lives by taking away from them. Look, I'm not. Kill no, themselves. no, no. I don't want them to kill themselves. I just want to know that. I just want them to know that they have the options here. Then why is that an option? Look, because, look, what if it gets so bad that suicide bullet to the brain by your own self is preferable to whatever's happening? I don't want to be turned into a zombie. Would you? Yes, I would. I live forever, and eventually they find the cure in 100 years, and I get to be in the future 100 years from But you're now. rotting. I'm assuming their serum would have, like, anti-rot cream or something. You're assuming. You're gonna, you're gonna base <laughs> your entire... Idea on ass an assumption. <laughs> now you're thinking like a scientist. <laughs> That's my hypothesis. I'm gonna become a zombie. In a hundred years, they'll cure me with, with anti. Oh, there it is. Can I take it off? Yeah. Cool. But I would you want to though? I guess to change it out. I came. You need something? I have to go. Good luck. Trusting. Raid the rest of their stuff. But I'm sorry. <laughs> they did. They did hold me out on you. <laughs> Take their last pistol. <laughs> but obviously they don't need it. <laughs> Take it all. Reduce the Omni Gel. You need Omni Gel. What's it for? That's your health. Well, I mean, obviously, if, um, how do I put this? If they were willing to give me the pistol, then they don't even know about the items in there. Because they couldn't decrypt it anyway. They're farmers. Oh, wait, you're right. They just need it. But I didn't have the option, so it's fine. You didn't talk to them, man. You could have talked to them, man. No, I lies! Something's moving over behind those crates. Oh, that made you jump? Wait, don't, don't shoot. I'm one of you. I'm human. What are you doing sneaking around back there? I'm sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. 
looks really sad. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? I don't know, buddy. They you, never you had ever a noticed chance. just like 400 people behind I, crates? I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. So you were hiding behind the crates before the attack? Yeah, I, I'm a little bitch. Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I, I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're you lazy? Sick. If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Sick. I don't really want to think about it. You're Cole's contact here on the docks for the smuggling ring. What else do you have? <laughs> what? You no. just shake him down? I mean, what does I don't it matter now? So yeah. I'm a smuggler. Who don't cares? Shake down. My supervisor's dead. The entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? We have more important things to worry about. Yeah, that's yeah. not a, that, that's not even this an objective. This is a hell of a thing. You could do it though. Is there anything else you can tell me else. about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was I how quick. aggressive he says that. Tell me about the Geth. was descending the next. <laughs> What do you know about the beacon? The Tell me about the Geth attack. Are you a smuggler? Mothership. Cole mentioned you. Moved. It was a massacre. Oh, wait, that's right. I didn't even care. <laughs> Tell me about this mothership you saw. I Tell me about this mothership like it you saw. It, it was huge. Where did you see it? Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. <laughs> and, and it was making this noise, this, this sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Come Take the beacon. cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I believe in you. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Go with all your friends so you're safe, dumbass. I like how the music changed. Yeah, the music. It's got that. I like how that's on fire, you're just like, I'm just gonna grab that. Piercing that's gonna get some Like tech up stuff is really good to use to get too. No, 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 I'm saying like every upgrade is fairly done. Yeah, he ran. 
Feel b I can see you talking, but all I hear is game sounds. Lol. Set the charges. Destroy oh, the entire not, colony. Leave no can, evidence. They can't hear us? Here. Can you type in there? Can you type in there? I can't. Can you do that? We, we'll fix it in just a sec. Can you hear me now? Say yes. That's right. You can. Hold on one second. Check, check, one, check. 
fuck the hell are. Hear us now. Who is that anyway? It's Julie. Yeah, thanks for giving her. Uh, <laughs> no, but the, the not supposed to say her name. Thanks for just giving her uh, identity away. What? what? Everybody. And all they have to do is look up who we are. They can find out who she is because they already know she has kids. All they have to do is just cross reference everything. Y'all are like, well, as soon as the shooting starts. Oh, I see. Can you hear us now? You didn't hear everything we just said, did you? About us giving away all of your personal information on the inter and the on the web. We didn't give away all her personal information. We did. Now I'm just worried. I'm sorry. Thousand years ago, the Prothean, the Geth, are a humanoid race of network AIs. They were created by the Quarians 300 years ago as tools of labor and war. When the Geth showed signs of self evolution, the Quarians attempted to exterminate them. The Geth won the resulting war. This example has led to legal, systematic repression of artificial intelligences in galactic oh, that society. Is so the Isn't Geth that possess cool? a unique yeah. distributed yeah. intelligence. Yeah. An individual. The Geth are one After the Geth secure a location, they round up and impale dead and living bodies on mechanical spikes. The spikes rapidly transform these victims into so wither husks, extracting water and trace minerals, yeah. and replacing them with cybernetics. The cybernetics reanimate the lifeless flesh and tissue, transforming the bodies into mindless killing machines. Oh. Some alliance soldiers to refer to the husk generating spikes as dragon's that. teeth. Is that, is that, a that reference to the more? mythological kind of. person. Just the army's bombs. After we finish this mission and get through some of the social stuff, we're gonna stop the treatment. Then they can watch Candyman and social justice commentary. Oh, oh, okay, so you said only white people. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I thought I was invincible. Demolition You're not invincible, you still have health. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. <laughs> okay, I wasn't thinking. I was running and gunning. That was everyone. You were too busy thinking about the racial tensions of Candyman. See how m see <laughs> see what I'm saying? It gets to me that much. It really does. Yeah, only the police kill. Only the police kill black. People. You would think you're a white person. No, I'm not. I just don't. Think I'm, I'm not saying. It's Then, then Don't get me wrong, then like, if we... Black people kill cops. No. Black people kill cops. Which really sucks to see. So you said only white people kill cops. Oh, I mean... 
That might be. I'll have to rewatch. Yeah, we're rewatching. Why are you guys not? Against the British accent, I'm, I'm just guessing. accents aren't very sexy. But like, okay, look. Sometimes, like the small whisper of British accent, that's sexy. Yeah, that's easy. Kill the guests. Chest over there. Should I grab it? It's up to you. I, I guess I think. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. What? I mean, thank you for making your levels bigger, but you bitch. <laughs> yep. You could put a chest there for sure. War I'm hero. Sure Jogs for 10 seconds. <laughs> no, not. Let, oh, hold on. Let's time. 1001, 2002, 2003, 2004. Not even 1. Barely a 1000. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm gonna hit the power button on this PC and then we're good. Uh, no, we're gonna hit the end. Normandy, button over the there. beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology, unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Oh, uh, isn't it? Yeah. Something must have activated later, it. For sure. Next Sunday's more. Important. Roger, yeah. Normandy, standing by. 
I just want to get him to the intro to see if he'd be interested. What do you think they're selling so far? Did he just break the beacon? That son of a bitch! <laughs> nice fucking job, Shepard! <laughs> Our first objective is to get the beacon. <laughs> and we blew it up. We blew it up with our minds! We can just say that the enemy blew it up. That's something you see in like a fucking uh comedy. Say, oh, Sarah it's fucking it dead. <laughs> we identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Oh. It's a good use. No. What did she do? She just gave me the information. This human must thing. be eliminated. I must have heard something interesting. Or Shepard, or my character must have, they did not have to give her that many, that much boob. Wait till the second game. I put a mod on to show you Miranda's ass because they took all those scenes out in this legendary edition. Doctor! Dr. Chakwas, I think he's waking up. I am waking up. What the hell did I just see? We don't know, sir. What did you see? I don't fucking know! <laughs> you had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? I felt better. How did I end up here? How long was I out? You just fuck her question. <laughs> Right. About 15 hours. <laughs> Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. <laughs> it's my fault. I must have turned Maybe a doctor or anything, but fuck your questions. It. You had to push me out of the way. Where's the beacon now? What happened to it? The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Science typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Did it come Captain Anderson. A lot in this game. How's our exo holding up? At least in I'm the executive the officer. I said the commander's going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. You're already a mess. You got yourself beamed by the beacon and I had to Sounds save like you. That beacon now, why did you tell her that then? Are you sure you're okay? You could have told her off. <sighs> I feel bad about Jenkins. Jenkins? Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invading. The Council's going to want answers. The Council, the Council can kiss my answers. ass. I won't let them blame me for losing the beacon. I didn't do anything wrong. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. Ooh. But if what he's working with the Gith, you hear that? it she means he's specter. gone rogue. I don't know what that is. A rogue specter's trouble. Was. Saren's dangerous, and he hates they want humans. You, you don't remember any of that? He didn't come to Eden ago. Prime because so he hates humans. No, not yet. You're right. They want him Saren has expect allied himself with the Geth. Oh, I, yeah, I okay, know. I see what you're saying. I don't know why, but it had something to do with that beacon. And then you'll get another You were there just before your, that beacon self-destructed. Uh, Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I 
had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we gonna tell him? I had a bad dream? <laughs> We don't know I, uh, what information is stored. I had a bad dream, guys. I think Sarah's Lost evil. Lost Prothean technology, blueprint hey, look, for I some don't know, I ancient weapon of mass fucking Whatever. passed out. <laughs> and, and it blew up for some reason, so take that as seven. you will. Maybe I got data, maybe I don't. Maybe I'm a little... He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. Maybe I got it solved. This attack was an act of war. End time. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He's a specter. He can go anywhere. Do you want to do the anything. Citadel stuff? That's why we need the council on our side. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the council will we revoke don't know the if specter. He's gone rogue, though. He just I'll wanted the beacon, the ambassador, and he killed and homeboy. He can get us an audience then again, that's council. a pretty good indication. He'll want to see us as soon as we the reach the Citadel. To do it. We should be getting close. He Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. I guess I don't know that much about the game before I can even say anything. I'm just in the dark as my my homeboy right here. But well, that's how they made it. They made it like that. It's like, I'm interested. It's actually. So do you cool. want to do the sizzle stuff or do you want to go watch Candyman? I really want to go watch Candyman. All right. Well, that's gonna be the end of the stream for us. We're gonna go watch Candyman now. Yeah. We'll stream again next Sunday if you're interested. Probably stream a lot a little longer then too. Yeah. Because uh, right now, it's a little late. I really want to go watch Candyman. Yeah, we were supposed to start this earlier, but we worked out I had first. to make a call. Yeah. And, and just our only day off. we got to fit everything yeah, in. Yeah, got to fit everything in one day. Well, thank thank you all our viewers for checking us out. We appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, I don't know what else to say. I already it's, saved. This is Cool Beans Gaming. Peace out, bro. End the stream. Because I forgot what...